So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Well, okay then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on then. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. I got it! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. All right. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but... You got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. How's it going, booze man? Fine, good damn it. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. We can use some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit. Okay. 
Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Oh, shit, don't believe it. Thanks, Steve. See if we've met. Alright, now it's got to said the easiest way to a good meal was to lay a trap. Put a snare by a tree, and you could have dinner next time you come round. But careful. A headless snake can still bite. Especially when it ain't really dead. <laughs> My grandfather would have outlived us all. Let me tell you. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Well, that's great, Cope. So you and your granddaddy set traps for him, and you and your old man used to lay down salt licks. Yeah, it's real sporting. I guess none of that shit matters now. Oh, what the hell happened here? Oh, no. I wonder if they left anything worth the effort. <laughs> Another bounty.
Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor. I keep telling you that. Sarge, Lieutenant O'Brien, how long are we going to be here? hear that? Lieutenant O'Brien, field note 2006. On approach to the landing site, I observed a large swarm of insects, probably Antimonis Atronis or Pantera, in a clearing well away from our designated target. From that distance, I cannot discern what was attracting the insects, but from the size of the swarm, recent carry has indicated it should be just over here. Citronis is confirmed. Lots of force flies here, but have the suit on the tell you. Carrion is still mostly intact and appears to be what a Corvius, a Minus, or a Deer. Hey, anyone else hear that? Striation of the larger muscle masses indicate infection of wounded strain HB. We'll take sample to confirm. Well, look at it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what would that been something? Uh-uh. Uh, do what you want. Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub d d civilians! That I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive, What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, refugee Nero camp. Protocol 2 the 7 were states. I, Everyone was dead. They were slaughtered, torn limb Nero for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell else you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little space suit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay? Okay? <laughs> you remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh huh. And I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. 
don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes. I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Soon, loser. Real soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be riding the hell out of here. Yeah, Deke. Okay. O'Brien. Are you out there? O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? You're on this channel, god damn it. Okay, you better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Oh, god damn it, oh, come on! O'Brien, back to me. Deke, you there? Did you track down the chopper? Was it the same guy, the one we saw on the roof that night? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. And did he remember us? Sarah, what happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened to her. You're like, you don't think she's still alive? What? No. I mean, no. I'm, look, I'm not stupid, Boozer. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. Where she died. Well, hey. Maybe you can finally... Find some peace. I don't need to find any peace, Jesus Boozer. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Broke another goddamn razor this morning. In our supposed global utopia, Instead of getting the best products from around the world, we got the shittiest products cheap foreign labor could churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break, so that you could buy once, buy again, buy, buy, buy. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that, all to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? You couldn't go overseas, nope. Americans in the hell. When we build something, we'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither will we. This is Mark Cooper, your free work. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken to me, Cope, but hey, whatever you say. All the little crass commercials. I mean, new, new bike, right about now.
I got a use for you. this. He alive. They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't gonna make it, but he got her to a mesh unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she could still be. She. No, 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 no. But O'Brien is alive. And if he is. That maybe. Nick, you there? Blues man. Um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Nick. It's it's all kind of blur. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a shame. As soon as your arm heals, we're gonna be right now. Out 
there, O'Brien. You son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? You're on this channel. You better get back to me, or I'm going to track you down. You got that? God damn it, come on! Brian! Back to me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it was him. Did he remember us? Sarah, what happened? I don't know. They got diverted south. He, he remembered her, but he doesn't know what happened. I mean, I, I don't think she's still alive. Let's see. What? No. I mean, no. Look, I'm not stupid, Boozer. I just want to find out, you know, what happened to her. Where she died. I don't need to find any peace. Jesus. I, I gotta go, all right? Deacon out. Come <laughs> on. 